Remember the first time you heard this? You were amazed, astounded, and perhaps in just a bit of pain, but you soon got over it and realized that pop music had a new star, and her name was Mariah Carey. Her story, her videos, and lots more straight ahead on the Mariah Carey Video Collection. <laughs> She has sold more than 80 million records worldwide. Her seven-octave voice has taken her where few female singers have gone before. And she's amazed us with her vocal arrangements, video directing, and natural ability to write songs. She's Mariah Carey, of course, and for the next hour, we'll tour the videos that helped make her the biggest-selling female artist of the 1990s. We'll bring you insight from Mariah herself on the making of those videos and get you up to date on her most recent album, Butterfly. When Mariah's self-titled debut album was released by Columbia Records in 1990, they were so sure that they had a hit on their hands, they began the largest and most expensive record launch since Bruce Springsteen unleashed his less startling one and a half octave range on Born to Run in 1975. The headlines read, a powerful voice starting out at number one, and a voice takes off for the heavens. For 20-year-old Mariah, it was meant to be. I've always wanted to be a singer. There, I know nothing else. There was never a time when I said, oh, maybe I want to be a nurse or maybe I want to be a doctor or whatever. I've just always known that I wanted to do this because it's just so there, you know, inside me. Mariah's first single and video was Vision of Love, a song she wrote soon after she was signed to a record deal. Now, fans may remember it as a stunning video debut, but Mariah remembers it as one giant bad hair day. There's this one shot that really annoys me because I'm standing up on that, the, but with the blue behind me, and the guy who did my hair, like, he put all this junk in my hair. I don't know what it was. But it was like it weighted it down, and you, because my hair is curly, you can't just put all this stuff in it. And so by the end of the, of the video, it was like a wreck. And there was this one shot in the video where I'm like doing something with my hand, and a piece of hair snaps. <laughs> and every time I'm looking at it, I'm like, why? Why couldn't the editor just go, no, she snapped her hair there. Cut. You didn't make Vision of Love became one of four number one hits off of Mariah's debut album. No doubt she had lived up to high expectations. Most artists tend to bask in the glow of a successful debut, but Mariah grabbed her lunch pail and headed right back to the studio for album number two, Emotions. Released in 1991, it was on this album that Mariah began to assume more control and hone her producer chops, working with David Cole and Robert Corvallis of CNC Music Factory. Different approach, same result. The first single, Emotion, shot straight up to number one, making chart history as the first artist to have her first five singles all make number one. Here it is, Emotion. <laughs> On we go with our guided tour of Mariah Carey's video archive. After two multi-platinum chart-topping albums, Mariah was asked to take the stage for MTV Unplugged. Now, not having embarked on a tour yet and not having come up through the clubs, she was, you know, antsy. I think that the Unplugged performance definitely helped to um, put me a lot more at ease about performing and um, just kind of showed me that I could do it. I mean, when you never get the chance to do something, you know, most people come up singing in bars or doing different things or performing their whole lives. I never did, you know. I just did it like the hardest test you could ever have. You know, it was like, get out there and sing in front of millions, pe millions of people, you know. It's all right. And it, you know, I had to learn the hard way. You and I must make Mariah's unplugged performance was not only a huge triumph personally, but it was also a tremendous success, leading to a seven-song EP and home video, including her Grammy-nominated cover of the Jackson 5 hit, I'll Be There, that you just saw. Still perspiring from her first major live gig, Mariah released her third album, Music Box, and launched her first ever tour in 1993. You gotta admit, the gal's got pluck. Here's the first single, Dream Lover. <laughs> 